Um, I've developed this question with regards to the prior uh, learning units that we did regarding the PPE and the depreciation part that I just want to test if you guys understand the depreciation and uh, to my understanding, um, it's not going to get tricky as compared to how far I've got in terms of developing the content. But anyway, I call it the basics as to where you can, uh, what is it, start and end the understanding of your own uh, your own depreciation. Okay. Um, my question started with the three types of machine, or two types of machine with an addition of a new one. Um, the first machine is the standard machine, and the second one is the quality machine, and we had the other one that was integrated with the quality, which is called the average machine. Okay, so the first one says that the above machine was purchased on the 1st of May 2018 with a cost price of 400,000 rand, and the estimated useful life of this machine is eight years. And we're going to move on to the quality now, which is says the above machine was purchased on the 1st of July 2019 with a cost price of 500,000 rand, with an, an estimated useful life of five years. So, however, the company have decided to comply with the straight line method in calculating their depreciation. On the 1st of April 2021, the company management has decided to increase production in uh, production capacity and purchase the average machine on credit for 600,000 rand. Quality machine was traded in for the purpose of an average machine and the outstanding balance of 200 rand must still be payable towards the average machine with an uh, the estimated useful life for the average machine is six years. So the year end here is the 31st of December 2021. And the question says, calculate the depreciation and determine if the disposal was at a profit or a loss amount for every machine. Okay. So I'd like you guys to actually work with me. Obviously, I'm going to need you if you are having a problem. Uh, let me just see calculations. All right, let's have a look at how you can calculate your standard machine depreciation. Um, so depreciation, depreciation. Okay. All right, when you approach up with this kind of equations, what do you do usually? Hello, I think I gave uh, everybody a clue that when you go home, please focus on question one in your question banks as well as question 17, which is the last one. OK, so my my content was actually developed based on those two questions. All right. Um, anyone, anyone quickly, do you have an idea on how you can approach this kind of a question in calculating your depreciation? All right. The first thing you look at the timeline, the timeline meaning when was the machine purchased and was it was there any disposals or was there any scrap or was there any uh, traded in on the machine? You look at when was it purchased and you look at when is the current year. All right, the current year would be like this. I hope you guys can see my writing. The current year would be the 31st December 2021. And sorry, the current year is my apologies for that. It's actually the first of January, 2021, up until uh, the 31st December, 2021. Okay, and we're going to look at what's called the purchase date. This machine was actually purchased on the first of May, 20, 2018. I'm just going to highlight this in red so that we'll be on the same page, right? So we bring this purchase date. You just say purchase date. This is how you draw your timeline. Purchase date is the 1st of May, 2021. Sorry, 2018, basically. And you look at what has happened. What has happened in here? So as we bought the, uh, let me just see what happened to the standard. It will be the, you'll start with the depreciation for the 1st May 2018. This is when we have accumulated the, the, the asset. This is when we purchased basically the asset 
and you say my depreciation would be we've been told that it's actually on on cost meaning that you don't seek or you don't have to seek what's called the accumulated depreciation being that may be given but it's actually not given in here but we don't need it anyway so this is what you're going to do 2018 you will say 400,000 rand and then you divide this by how much is the estimated useful life eight years right and then you multiply this by so how many months are there from the May 2018 to, remember year end is December. It's May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, meaning that you're going to have nine and then you divide it by 12, All right? Anybody with an answer quickly for me? If you've got a calculator, please help me there, just to, due to time. So you're basically going to have 400,000 rents, and then you multiply this by nine divided by nine divided by 12, and you divide it by eight, yes, right? It means that your depreciation for 2018 will be equals 37,500 rent. Are people here or am I? Okay, I can see your, uh, your hand, MM. Let me see who MM is. Um, hi, sorry, I needed to understand why you're multiplying by nine instead of seven, because we're calculating from May, May to December. It's supposed to be seven months, not nine oh. months. Oh, is it seven months? Sorry about that. Let me see, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. But it gives me nine months when I calculate. Basically eight. Eight months. I think eight. Remember, it's at the beginning. It's not at the end of May. It's at the beginning of May. Okay. Thank Does you. Does it make sense? No, I, I get you there. Eight months, yeah. All right. I think I made a mistake as well there. So it's 400,000 rent. You multiply that by nine. Sorry. Eight, you divide that by 12, and then you divide that by eight. Yes, I'm having double three, double three, three point three three. Okay, so it means this figure was just an error. So, this is what you're going to have. So, 2019 was the depreciation for 2019. Depreciation for 2019. MM. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to get your name. Let me see. MM. Norman. Um, it's, Sorry, it's I did not full... do the calculation. Sorry. Oh, you were? For 2019, as far as I can see, it's a full year. So 50,000. Okay, so it's going to be divided by eight years, right? Yes. So you're going to have 50,000 rents. And. Uh, we still have 20, uh, 2020, right? Yeah, Norman, can you lead me, please? Yes, that, that looks right. That looks right to you as well. Okay, and then we have in 2021, which is the current year, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and it's going to be the same. Okay, the same process will be followed. So it's 400,000 rent, and then you divide this by this might be. Eight years, and then you get. He said it's fifty thousand rand, right? Yes. Okay. Um, it could be for the full year for twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one to date. Right. Twenty nineteen yep. to twenty twenty. It's full year, right? Yeah. All right. So my total depreciation there would be. Uh, let me see. Total would be one fifty plus three three. I think I think it's one eight. One eight three three. Somebody help me quickly. One eight three three point three three. Okay, I think I made a mistake here. Yeah? Is it fine? Yes, correct. So this is your total depreciation for the current year. Okay. Right. Uh, let me just give you a hint. Remember this. These three depreciation. Um. They're going to be called, I'm just going to put it on the side. It's going to be an accumulated depreciation. Agree? All of this will be, uh, I just don't know how to, to go there. But all of these three are going to be 
accumulated depreciation, meaning you're going to have your accumulated depreciation. Because remember that the depreciation that happened in the previous year are called the accumulated depreciation as and when we go by with the asset. Make sense? Okay. This is going to be your accumulated depreciation. Are we done? Any clarity on this one? Any clarity? Just a quick one from from my side, sir. Yes. Um, so, so during during those years that that have passed, um, it would have been a depreciation expense, which is capital account, and uh, accumulated depreciation would go against the asset. That would it reduce will the asset value, uh, asset carrying value. Is that correct? Yes. It will reduce the asset cost basically to give you yeah. the carrying value. At the end of 2019. You know what I'm saying? So basically, this is what is going to happen. OK, what Norman is asking is you are going to have the cost. Let me just say the previous years, right? Which is your 2018 to. Is it 2018? Uh, let me just go back quickly. 2018 to 2019. OK. So your cost. To 2020. Is it 20, 2020? We can't count it. It's going to be the carrying amount at the. It's going to be. It's going to form the carrying amount at the end of the year. Oh, are we not dealing with the year 2021? Uh, look at me now. Okay. Yeah. Up until here. Sorry. It's up until here. Yeah. You're right. And um, Norman, sorry. Basically, Thanks. you're going to have 400,000 rands, and then you minus. Uh, it's how many 50,000s? I think we've got two 50,000s, right? So it's 50,000s. So it's going to be 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you, comma, 4, uh, comma, 3, 3. Then these would lead to your carrying value. This is what you're looking for. Carrying value at, you can say, the 1st of Jan, 2021. Okay. So, but when you're looking for the carrying value, at the end of the year, these would be these would be your these will basically be your accumulated depreciation, and then you minus your four hundred thousand rent, and then you get your carrying value. End of the year. Let me say at the end. Make sense. No matter are you there? Yes, makes makes sense, sir. Does it make sense to everybody? This is how you apply yourself on the PPE note for the carrying amount value that has to be transferred through to your statement of financial position. Basically, we, we will be looking at this. We're looking at this to be part of your carrying, carrying amount at the end of the year. But we have calculated our depreciation for the first machine, which is standard, and the accumulated depreciation for this. Uh, sorry, the accumulated depreciation for the standard as well as the current year depreciation for the same asset. Okay, then let's come to this one now. Quality. Uh, quality machine. We're going to calculate the depreciation here as well. Mm, depreciation. All right, we're going to look at we're going to develop our timeline. Let's check when was it purchased. So this machine was purchased on the 1st of July uh, 2019 up until our year end will be the 31st December uh, 2021. Right, who wants to help me on this one? Let me just delete this one because we know that our year end is um, 2001. Let me delete this. Bring it up here. And who's got an idea on how to approach this kind of a question? Um, so I would look at, at the purchase, the purchase date of the quality machine, which is the 1st of July 2019. 1st of July 2019. 
and we would only have a portion of the total depreciation, which is five years on the quality machine. So 500,000 divided by five years give us, gives us annual depreciation of 100,000. But for the 2019 year, it's only for six months. It's only for six months. So you multiply this by six and divide it by 12. Which gives us um, uh, 50,000. 50,000, right. Okay. So there's nothing wrong if you can say divided by two because six divided six uh, six in twelve months goes twice, right? You can just say fifty thousand rand divided, yeah. divided by five, much. But you just have to be careful around how you, <clears throat> you need to be sure in terms of the number of months. Okay. All right. Can we move on to 2021 now? Sorry, twenty twenty. Would you like me to continue? Please. Um, so it, 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 on the face of it, uh, 2020 is a full year's, of, year's worth of depreciation. What about the depreciation? 50,000. 50,000. Okay. And then... Um, come again, please. Is it 500,000? 500, 500,000 divided by five years is, a, is, is 100,000. Sorry, 100,000, not 50,000. Apologies. Okay. Uh, is it 100,000 range here? Yes, it is. For the full year's depreciation cost. Okay, take me to 2021. 2021 would have been a full year's worth of depreciation if the quality machine was not traded in. Okay, and then how would you approach it? So um, the quality machine was traded in for the, the purchase of an average machine. Um, I'm assuming that's at the outstanding balance of 200,000. Okay. Um, I'm just not understanding that. And there, right. there is... There Let is me the read it for you. Maybe you will understand it. Okay. On the 1st of April 2021, yes. the company uh, management has decided to increase production capacity and purchase the average machine on credit mm -hmm. worth 600,000 rand. Um, the quality machine was printed in uh, for the purpose of an average machine with an outstanding balance of 200,000 rand that must be payable towards the average machine. My estimated useful life is six years for the average machine. Okay. Six years. Right. I'm going to hint you there. Obviously, there was a disposal. In, uh, there was a disposal of machine in, uh, what is it? In, in an exception that there would be another machine to be purchased. That would be it would be at the same time as the purchase of the average machine, I assume. Uh, the same time you mean the first of April? The first yes. Of April. Yes. Okay. So the same time you saying this, right? Hmm? Okay. Let's see. Right. This was on the day that the companies decided that they want to increase production. Obviously, the assumption would be it's no longer useful for the production of the fan, which is why they traded in that one. Okay. Are you still there? Yes, sir. All right. You're still doing your working hours? Yep. Okay. Um... So, so a, a portion of the, the, the depreciation from April through to December um, does not occur because the um, quality machine was disposed of. Okay. So April, May, June, July, August, September. Nine months. So you bring the average now? No, the, the quality machine. Okay. We 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 had we, we said that it was purchased in 2019, right. so there was six months worth of depreciation there. There was 12 months worth of depreciation in 2020, and there's only uh, January, February, March, uh, three months worth of depreciation in 2021. So we need to divide the hundred thousand by 12 and multiply by three. Okay, let's see, you'd say, is it how much? Um, uh, just give me the figures, please. I'm just working it out. Okay. Um, 25,000. Okay, which amount you does that? Okay, how do I start? Guide me there. 
so so for me that means that the total depreciation for the quality machine accumulated over time would have been 50,000 Right. 100,000 and 25,000 for the three okay. years. That I get, that I get, Norman. I just want to see on how do you arrive at your 25,000 rates. Um, so, my assumption is that the quality machine was disposed of at the same time as the average machine was purchased. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. There you uh, are. So, January, February, March with the three months that it was depreciated for the 2021 year. All right. So uh, 100,000 divided by 12 multiplied by three. 100,000 divided by 12 multiplied by three. Yes. Okay, multiplied by three. And it gave you 25,000. Yes. All right. Uh, Norman, I just want to engage you a little bit on this one. Why okay. do you use the 100,000 rates? Um, because that's a full year's depreciation for the quality machine. And what about the five years? The useful life? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm calculating it for that particular year. All right. So what I'm basically trying to do is get to an accumulated depreciation value so that I can understand what the carrying value was when it was sold. Uh, Norman, thank you so much for that. But let me just correct you a little bit here because... Thank you. Uh, remember, we've been told that the depreciation is based on the cost model, right? So meaning that the cost doesn't change. You can't use the depreciation figure to calculate the depreciation figure. Meaning that you cannot use your 100,000 rand to calculate your depreciation figure. What you have to do is you keep on saying the 500,000 rand because that's the cost on a straight line method, okay? And you divide it by the estimated useful life doesn't change as well. It will always be five years, right? And then you're right by saying that you need to multiply that by three and then you divide it by 12. It seems well you've got the calculator. Can you help me quickly there? How much is the depreciation here? 500,000 rand divided by five years multiplied by three divided by 12. Three divided by 12 is from there, January the 1st up until the 1st of April. It's three months. That's why we are using that. The estimated useful life of five years, it doesn't change. It remains the same. And of course, we need to comply with the cost model, meaning that we have to take it directly from the cost. Make sense? All right. Anybody who populated the figure there quickly? 25,000. Is it 25,000 rand? It means that your depreciation for the current year is going to be 25,000 rand. That's your depreciation for the current year. Right. Uh, Norman, do you want to try Do you want to go further with this one? And I, I appreciate um, I appreciate what you did, what you did here. Yeah, I, I just jumped a step. I apologize. OK, no problem for that. <laughs> we learn from, from that part. Um, Okay, so the quality machine. So, so therefore, the, the fully depreciated value of the quality machine would have been. Um, okay, let me just do this. You want to give me the total depreciation amount for the quality machine? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make it clear for you so that you will be able to calculate that for us. So there's the depreciation since the inception of the purchase. Okay, mm -hmm. so it will be fifty thousand plus hundred thousand rand plus twenty five thousand rand. So I think it's yes. going to be one hundred and seventy five. One seventy five. One seventy five. Right. Um, it's one seventy five thousand rand. Let me just do this quickly. Just bear with me. Total will be one seven five thousand rand. All right, did everybody get the concept of trading in in regards to the, the assets? Did, did, can you see on how you deal with what's called the, the disposals? All right, now it's fine. Remember, we also purchased what's called an average machine. Average machine. The standard is forcing us to actually calculate this so that we can form part of our disclosure. What do you do the balance sheet or what do you do the PPE note? 
Okay, let me help you quickly on this one because I know it's going to be a bit of a problem. Unless if there's somebody who's, to, who's willing to take a shot. I don't see any hands can, up. Can, can, I, can I try it? Please, please, man. I love um, it. I, um, the, the way I see it is that, um, and, and the reason that I wanted to calculate that carrying value is that um, with this trading transaction, um, the carrying value on on the quality machine was 325,000, which is the 500,000 purchase less the accumulated depreciation. So it's 500,000 minus 175. So it was valued at 325 um, according to our straight line depreciation method. Okay. At the time of that, that trade in transaction. Okay, give me that carrying value again. How much Three, is it? 325,000. 325,000, right? These are carrying amount. Okay. Okay. And then um, it says that the the average machine has an outstanding balance of 200,000 that must be payable towards the average machine. Yes. Um, I, I don't really understand that statement. Okay. Okay, the statement basically says that we had... Um, sorry about that. The statement basically said that when we dispose an asset or when we traded in an asset, which it was the quality, it had an outstanding amount. Look at it in this way. You've got a car, right? Let's say you've got your BMW and then you want to upgrade to your Mercedes-Benz, for example. You, um, you, you, you can exercise, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure whether you should. All right, you're willing to buy the machine and then you decided to trade in what you have, which is the BMW, but it, it's not yet paid in full, right? So what the dealership normally does is they would say, okay, you do qualify, then we can give you the, 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 the BMW. But they're going to look at how much are you outspending with on your existing car, right? So what they would do is, okay, they would say, you're left at 200 grand on the BMW now, but the Mercedes-Benz worth an amount of 400,000 grand. And then what they would do is they're going to take all of those two figures and consolidate them to form one cost. That's basically what, what are they saying in, 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 uh, in here? Pretty much as the quality machine doesn't produce enough for the fair, as they have decided to trade it in, they still owe 200,000 rand over the quality machine. It's going to be combined with what you are buying, which is called the average machine. I'm not sure if that does make sense. So, so does that mean then that we, we, we achieved a 325,000 purchase uh, selling price for the quality machine. Yes. Okay, then I understand. All right. Any questions? All right. Uh, do you want to give me the depreciation for the average machine, uh, Norman? Um, the average machine, it it would be 325,000 plus. 200,000 as its um, its opening balance in it in the, in the asset account yes um, so that's 525 525 Ta um, over how many years did you say six that's six years six years right um, over six years so for a full year it would be 87,500. Sorry, sorry, I'm skipping a step again. Sorry, let me, uh, let me, sorry, let me write it down for you. It's 325,000 rent, and then you plus it with? 200,000. 200,000 rents. Um, divided by six years. By six years. Yes, um, six years. Times. May, June, July, August, September, September. Eight months. Eight. You divided by 12. Divided by 12, correct. Let me see. Uh, I think you should start counting from the 1st of April because it's still in the beginning. May, June, July, August, September. Nine months. Apologies. All right. No problem. So you'd say eight, nine divided by 12. Yes. Okay. How much is your depreciation?
565. Uh, 565. Right. Um, 565,000. If, if we were still, okay, the, 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 what is it, the, the principles with regards to your um, average machine depreciation calculation is quite correct. You understand. But the amount you've used are actually quite incorrect. Okay. So it's going to disadvantage you when we do when we deal with uh, the multiple choice question because they're looking for the exact figures. However, if you are marking based on what you have written down, they were going to give you the six marks full mark. They are going to give you maybe one and a half on the nine divided by twelve, and then that 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 will be it. So you're going to be penalized for three twenty five thousand rand plus two hundred thousand rand. The reason being three twenty five thousand rand. If you remember, that's your carrying value. And the, the, the question says that we need to deal with this on cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you need to always acknowledge which method are you using. However, if you're using the carrying amount, uh, if you're using the diminishing balance method or the reducing balance method with the 325,000 range, you're going to be quite correct. Okay. Yes. So this is what what what's going to happen because this simply tells you that you need to use your cost minus your accumulated depreciation and multiply it by whatever the adjustment that has to be made in here all right but what happened is we don't really look at how much would be the outstanding amount we're going to look at how much is the new cost of the, uh, the average machine right the reason being we disposed that amount uh, they're just trying to trick you here we disposed that machine it's no longer useful for us there's no way we can calculate the depreciation for that one meaning that the cost we should get away with the cost as well we need to focus on what's called the average machine is what we have purchased because if you can look at your 2021 the trade in happened on the first of april you understand we don't have that machine anymore we're not interested in what's going to happen in that machine anymore we interest we interested in what we made as an addition that's an average machine so this is what you were supposed to do you were supposed to say 600,000 rent, which is the new cost, and then you divide this by six years and then you multiply that by nine divided by 12. Six years and nine divided by 12 is uh, it's actually quite correct. Right. Can I ask you to give me the figure here? That will be our depreciation in the current year or for the new machine. Um, um, 75,000. 75,000 rand would be your final figure. Yeah. Okay, I, I understand where I went wrong. Thank you. Okay, uh, we cannot really easily get away with matter here. We need to determine how much will be your realization since well, there was a disposal of an asset. Are you ready for that? I can see that the depreciation is giving you a bit of a hard time, guys. Are you prepared to do the realization because it's just an addition with regards to your depreciation? Whenever there's a disposal of an asset, the trade in or the scrap, it means that you need to calculate how much would be your realization. And those are the types of the questions that you need to prepare yourself for the exam on. Let me see, who wants to help me on the realization account? Right. Let me start by doing the accumulated depreciation since what we've dealt with the depreciation. Accumulated, related depreciation. What do you do? You realize? David, your realization. Realization. Realization amount. How much would be your, uh, the con remember the realization account is the contra allocation account for the depreciation, so the accumulated depreciation amount. So I give you a hint there, you uh, debit your realization account. Which figures do you think they would form part of your, your realization? Actually, let me just say, which figures do you think they would form part of your accumulated depreciation? Remember, when I begin this question, I told you that the depreciation that happened in the past, they form part of your accumulated depreciation. Meaning that you need to look at the depreciation in the previous year before or prior the current year. Okay, I'm going to start with the first machine here. Meaning that we have to deal with the depreciation from the beginning of the year and make it a realization account as part of your debit account. Guys, please make sure that you do your question 17. Make sure that you do your question 17. I know it has been part of your multiple choice account in the previous years, so that means you should actually expect this in your comments. 
I don't know how does your exams looks like, but I believe that you probably have found something like this. OK, so this part would form part of your depreciation and your, the, would form part of your accumulated depreciation as part of you're going to actually uh, what is it? Open a contract allocation account, which is the realization under the accumulated depreciation. So this is what you're going to do. Um, you're basically going to say, you remember the 133 that we had? Uh, sorry. 1333.33 3, 3, 3. Then you plus it with how much? 50,000. Actually, you just take figures and then you just add them. And plus again with 50,000 brands. Right? And then you're going to credit what's called. All right, let's see um, how much will be your opening balance with regards to uh, the accumulated depreciation. It has. So what you can do is you can say open and balance and simply because we've got figures in the previous year, right? So you need to look at how much will be the open and balance. OK, the open and balance works in this way, guys. If you're dealing with the current year and then you had transactions that occurred in the previous year, whatever that has occurred in the previous year, they're going to be your open and balance in the current year. Um, think of it as, as in like it's a depreciation. When you remember the depreciation, not the depreciation, I'm sorry, the inventory. So usually you'd have what's called the opening and the closing. And we all know that your closing inventory will be closed or will be disclosed under your statement of financial position. There would be your opening inventory in the next financial period. But we switch on that one. It will go through to your statement of profit and loss and OCI as your open balance. All right. Meaning that the disclosure of the figures in the previous uh, financial period would somehow form part of your opening balance in the next accounting cycle. Right, so meaning that we're now going to look at the depreciation that happened in the previous year, which is, uh, is going to be the same amount I think in here. And you're also going to have Um, you're going to have, uh, let me open my fees, which is 133.33, and then you plus it with another 50, another 50, and you're going to look at, remember this, we're still on the standard, and then we're now looking at the quality, which is 50,000 rent, 100,000 rent, and 25,000 rents. Okay, so you're going to say, um you're going to say that fifty thousand plus hundred thousand rand then you plus your i think it's twenty five thousand rand right am i correct in that one yes okay no problem all right look at it in this way remember when we do the load on ppe what happened is uh you need to determine how much is your carrying value at the end of the year, meaning that the depreciation and the accumulated depreciation will be added together and form accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And then you again credit. Uh, I think it will make sense in terms of uh, the T format. You're going to credit what's called, I can say depreciation, that's fine, because it's always the contract allocation account for the accumulated depreciation. Depreciation, and then what do you do? You're going to look at the depreciation in the current year. How much are your depreciations in the current year? All right, let's bring uh, the standard. Um, sorry about it. And we're going to bring the quality. Right, and then we're going to bring the average. Right. And here's the interesting part. Remember, we only had the quality in the current year for only three months. Okay, meaning that the depreciation on the quality for the current year it was only for three months. Make sense? 
So how much was the depreciation for the quality in that three months? And, and the average was only nine months. It was only nine months, yes. So how much was it? Somebody help me quickly. Um, okay, no, it's fine. I'll just go there by myself. Let's start with uh, the standard. Uh, I have 50,000 rand. Meaning that I'm going to have by 50,000 rand. Close my brackets. And how much was the quality for that remaining three months in the current year? Is it 25,000? Yes. All right. Then the quality would be 25,000. Just open it and say 25,000. Right, let's see how much was the average. I had 75,000 rand. Do we have that? Can you all see that? So from there, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to compare the debit with the credit and see which side is actually greater than which. So what you're going to do is you're going to add 133 plus 50,000 plus 50,000 plus 100,000 plus 25,000 rand. Okay. Um, I think we've added this figure twice. My apologies. 5,000 rand. I think we've added this figure twice. Let me see 50,000 and 25,000 and 75,000 rand. So basically what you're going to do is, all right, Norman, I'm going to need your help there. Can you calculate how much is the amount, the realization amount, the debit side? And you will just give me that figure quickly. I'm going to be busy with the opening. Uh, somebody, can you do the credit depreciation, standard quality and average? I just want all of this so that we just have, uh, we'll just work on time. 50,000 plus 50,000 plus 50,000 plus 100,000 rents. Okay. So here my total is, let me see, equal side. It's uh, 263. 123.33. Right. Anybody who's got a total here? Anybody who's got a total on uh, the, the credit depreciation part? I'm getting a different one on um, uh, opening balance for the one that you put credit on. Why are okay, you getting? Get? You got 263 and I've got um, 383. Okay, let me just see. I think maybe it's my error on the calculators one. Let me add that one again. 133. And then you plus 150. Let me just say 250,000. But I'm getting 26333. Oh, okay. No, sorry. I think I said 133 instead of 13,333. Sorry. Not, I see okay. where I went wrong. Thanks. No problem. All right. Uh, did you get that one, uh, Norman? The first one? Mm. The first one, um, I'm getting 101333. Okay, but the first one, it should be... I think I'm getting confused about it. It's 133. It should be this, right? Not... It should be five zeros, five threes. Um, okay, so... So it's triple... It's it's 113333. Three, three. Because if you add 50 and 50 is 100, and then we've got two, sorry, one, triple three, double three. Is it one, triple three? Yes. Sorry, I, I just adjusted the figure, no? I've, I've also got too little there, yes. Okay, I'm with you. Two, three, 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 point three, three. Okay. But then your credit opening balance should be higher. The, yeah, I, I, I think I've got two six double three double three point three three. I'm getting three eight three triple three. Is it? Okay, let me just go back. Let me just go up there and see how much was the depreciation that I got there. Well, it's one eight three. It's not one three three, right? Oh, uh, okay. No, no. This is the total. Sorry, sorry. This is the total. Uh, it should be just yeah, for one double three double three. Okay, let me recalculate it again. 
Mm. Oh, it's thirty-three thousand three hundred thirty-three. Uh, okay, it originates from the first drop one, which is four hundred thousand rand, then you divide it by eight, and then you multiply that by eight divided by twelve. We see. Okay, it's, I think I'm the one who made a mistake. It's actually five threes. Five threes. Let me see. But how did we end up having one three 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 three? Okay. So you said how much do you get here, Norman? Supposed to be. Well, my figures might have been wrong, but the principle is quite correct that I'm confident with. So you've got. Three, Where you've three. got two six three, um, it should be two eight three two eight three three three. It should be two eight three three. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Let's see. Okay, it's one fifty thousand plus hundred is two hundred. You're right. You're right. Thank you so much. It's two eight three three, right? Two yeah. eight three three two three. Eight three. So yeah. Means that we need to adjust this one as well. So it's going to be one. It's supposed to be actually that one was supposed to be here. One three 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 point three three. three. Am I making sense? 133,333 rents and 30 cents. Yeah, not correct there. Right, depreciation. How much is 170? Sorry, how much is 75 multiplied by 2? 150. 140? 150. 150. Okay. We need a total here will be 150,000. And we are done with this one. Right, sorry about that. So this is the credit side. So your credit side will be like this. Credit side would be 150,000. Then you plus it with 281234. Uh, 2833.33. So how much is 150,000? Uh, 150,000 plus 283, 150 plus 281234 plus 0.33. Okay, I've got 2983. Mm, can do this. It's 383. 483. Mm? It's 483, you're right. Yeah. yeah. It's 4123454.33. Okay. So obviously, we're going to look at a credit, and then you minus. Uh, What's the debit amount? One, one, two, three, four, five, one, three, three. So it's minus one, one, two, three, four, five, point three, three. Okay. So for three hundred thousand rent, as my credit being greater than the debit. Happy. Everybody happy? All right, fine. Let's have a look at Sorry. the... Okay, Sorry, Puti. I, I had my hand up. Yeah, I've got my hand up. Sorry. Um, I want to understand why did you multiply the average by two? Where is the two coming from? Uh, on the depreciation side? Yeah, yeah. On average, average, 75, the one that you put inside the brackets, and then okay. you just said multiply by two. Where is the two coming from? Uh, unless... Okay, let me see. Is it under the accumulated or the average machine itself for the depreciation calculation? Accumulated depreciation. Um, you see the way you've listed standard quality average, and then you've got average inside the bracket. But okay. for us to get to 150, where's the two coming from? Why are you multiplying by two? For us to get 150? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't see where the two is that you're referring to, but... 150 comes from 50,000 plus 25,000 plus 75,000 rents. That's why I'm saying that how much is 75 multiplied by two? I was counting 75 on the average and plus 50 and 25 on quality and standards. Okay, this is how it happened. You'd say 50,000 rents plus 25,000 rent plus 75,000 rent, and then you get this total. Is that what oh, you're referring to? Okay. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Sorry. Thanks. Okay. 
Sorry, I just didn't see the, the, the where's the two, basically? Oh, you did no, on this I think, side. I think when you needed the, 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 the amount, you just said, what is 75 times two? And then oh. I said 150, but now I'm wondering, where's the two coming from? Oh, no, no. The 75 I, I can see, but the two, I wasn't aware where you got that from. But okay. you're making sense how you put it together there. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to be, I think, a little uh, bit faster. Sorry about that. Okay. Did you all get it? Why am I saying two? Multiply by two. 75 of two? I guess you did. All right. Let's have uh, the depreciation account. Here we're going to look at the current year. Obviously, the, the contract allocation is the accumulated depreciation. Right, so let's look at, let me just put it this way. Uh, current year, depreciation, we're going to have, how much is the depreciation in the current year? 150,000. 150,000 rands. Uh, and the figure is not actually quite accurate, but you just take the depreciation in the current year. All right, so the depreciation is actually your the contract allocation account. That's your depreciation. But the depreciation, does it include, is it 150,000 for all the machines? Because it has to be for all the machines. It is all the machines. Okay, so we've got 75 for the average, and then we've got 25,000 for the quality, and then we've got... Uh, 25. 25,000 rand for all. Yeah. Right, thank you so much for... For that one normal. Then who need clarity on this one? Who need clarity on this one? And let's move on to realization. Realization. All right, Norman, you've been looking forward to, to this one. <laughs> yes. do, you want, do you want to help me with this one? <laughs> I think I think we've made a, a profit on the sale of the quality machine of 75,000. Okay, get me through that. So um, it, it was it was it was depreciated from 500,000 okay. by 175,000 of, of accumulated depreciation over the years. Okay, and its carrying value was 325,000. All right, give me, give me those figures. You said, what is that? So we, we, we purchased it for 500,000. Okay, so, okay, tell me where do I put it? Let's see, debit. What are we debiting? And um, what are we as the asset, quality quality machine. Quality machine. Uh, how, how much? much? Um, 500,000. 500,000 rent It's part of your cost. No, 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 sorry. That, that's an... Uh, debit. Um... So we already had 500 in there. We will be, we'll be crediting accumulated depreciation with 325,000. Um, accumulating, so accumulated depreciation with 325. Depreciation with 325. The, the debit would have been either to bank or to or to a finance arrangement. Okay. So what, at five hundred thousand. Was it debit? Yes. Okay. So can I say? So bank for now. Machinery or is it bank? Yeah. Okay. No, no. Sorry, you're right. It, it is machinery. 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 So you Quality. said, I'll... yeah, 500,000. He's saying that because of uh, it was the machine that was uh, disposed. Yes. OK. So. And the, and the reason I'm, I'm saying that is, is that our purchase price on the average machine was 600,000. OK. So we would debit machinery 600,000 as well. Should I put 600,000 here again? 
Yes, please. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just say add 600,000 rates. For the average machine purchase. Okay. Then, yeah. Now you can go ahead. You can go ahead, please. So, so, so there's a there's a difference between, and then there was a two hundred thousand that we we added to our um, to what we owed on the machine. Yes. Which leads me to think that we received a trade-in price of four hundred thousand, which is the difference between the three twenty-five the 400 and the the 500,000. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, um, please, please explain that again. Okay, let me just say you add, sorry, why am I doing this? Just a moment. I'm trying to delete the, the line actually. Okay, so um, um, can somebody help me quickly? How can I remove this? Um, uh, I don't know what did I do. Let's it, see. It, it, try the try the insert menu. I think there's a that's a comment. Ah, yeah, it is a comment. So should I insert and what? And then take it all and then switch it or tab it off. Okay. Comments. It doesn't go away. Okay, no, that's fine. Let's work on this one. I don't think it will help us to. Okay, I had six hundred thousand right here, as you said. If you yeah. made a decision of 325, you were saying something again? Um, that 325 was as at the 1st of April. Okay. Um, then the, 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 the amount that was, was added to what to our liability was 200,000, if I'm not mistaken. Can you uh, go to the description? Yeah, let's go to the description and see. Okay. Uh, you can hear, right? Yes, it's two hundred thousand rand. It's an outstanding figure. Okay, so if if only two hundred thousand was was payable, then um, six hundred minus two hundred should be what what we achieved on a trade in for the quality machine, which is four hundred thousand. Ah, thank you so much for that. Let me see. So, and then how do you record that? I just like your logic behind this whole thing. No, I'm 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 a bit lost now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, it was so clear a couple of minutes ago. All right. Thank you so much for the attempt. Um Thank you. do you want to do you want to help us here? Well, um, I can take from where he left off. I think the two hundred thousand no, no, sorry. The, the, the 400,000, um, aren't we supposed to credit to that um, under liability? Okay, credit. I, I think you've got a reason why you're creating that, right? Yeah, um, yeah because uh, remember the, 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 the amount that we got um, from 600 minus the 200 that we have as a liability, which we need to debit. Uh, under liability, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, can I add by saying that it, we still owe that amount of money? It has to be paid. Right? Okay. Um, thank you so much for all of your attempts. But this is what you do basically. You're going to look at the original cost of a disposed asset. Okay. This is what you're going to debit. How much was the original cost for the quality? Five hundred thousand. And then you're going to look at how much was the cost of the new machine. I think it was 600,000 right? You remember that? Yes. And then you're going to deduct how much? The outstanding. Okay. From the year cost. Mm -hmm. It means that your difference will be 400,000 rands. Okay. Somebody put the, uh, gave me the figure for, this is how you got to it. I think it was you, Mukwin, right? You gave me the 400,000 rand. Am I making sense? Yes, you do. Then, right. Remember, we had uh, somebody gave me the 
what is it, the accumulated depot, was it you, Logan, of 325,000 rand? Yes, it was me. Okay. Then you add them together, your credit will go to the credit side, and then your debit will be on the debit side. Let me just do this so that you can be clear. Uh, okay. so this is your credit side, which is uh, three, I think it's about 725,000 rands. And then you minus 500,000 rand, it should give you 225. Am I correct? For three? Yes. Yeah, 225,000 rand. Meaning that your credit is actually greater than your debit side. What do you have? Profit on sale of the fixed asset. Profit on sale of the? Sorry, of, of the machinery. All right. So you're going to have the profit on the sale of the machine. Required to, okay, let me just say providence sale of the machine to be disclosed on the PL account. Let me just say provident loss account and OCI. So that's your other comprehensive income. Yeah. Okay, it means that it will go through under your income statement. So it's going to form part of your other incomes, and then if it's a loss, it will form part of your expenses. You just need to know which side is greater than which side, and what do you get. So if your credit is greater than your debit, that means you've got a profit. And then if your debit is actually greater than your credit, it means that you've got a loss. That's how you could, could I ask an unrelated question on that quickly, sir? On there? Is, 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 that, is that amount taxable? There? The income? Yes. yes, yes, it is going to be. Remember, okay, guys, this is how it works. The reason why you're doing the income statement is because of you need to know how much of the profit to be shared through the shareholders yes. and how much will be towards your, uh, your SARS. Remember, SARS is actually taxing companies on 28% at this point in time. However, you need to understand that you guys are working on a small trader. You don't deal with a CC, you don't deal with a company, you don't deal with the NGOs at this point in time. But company tax at this point in time in the country is 28%. Mm -hmm. So this is how it works. The more you make an income for your business, the more you're going to be taxed. I mean, the more your tax would be high. So the lower you go, your tax will be low. The average you go, the tax, your, your, your tax will be lower as well. Okay. So those that are actually in my tax class, I'm asking you not to confuse this because on the tax one, we, we're dealing with it differently. We do the income statement indirectly. At the end of the day, we need to know what belongs to SARS, whether you owe them or not. So I think you guys might have an idea is if you're working, your employer is providing you with what's called AP5, medical certificate and whatever investments that you have to do that. It's totally different to this one because that one we deal with the salaries and the other one we are dealing with the companies. Cool. So at this point in time, it's at a fixed rate of 28%. It differs with the salaried employees because they're going to look at how much do you qualify in terms of the tax brackets under your salaries. Cool. Right. Any questions? Any questions? Clarity on something? Okay. We might have gotten our figures wrong, but at the end of the day, our principle is quite correct. So if you follow, I still emphasize that, if you follow question 17, you will win. You will definitely win. All right. Uh, I know you were looking forward to, to, to do the adjustments over the weekend, but due to time, I don't think we'll touch on the adjustments. Unless if... No, no, it's, it's cool. I think we've got another we've got another one coming up on this Saturday, haven't we? Yes, we do. But because now we're going to be late for trading other payables. Yes. I think we'll be focusing on that one on Saturday. Yeah. And that other Saturday, we still have more hours with you. Then we'll go back to. Yeah. Uh, I took the opportunity on Saturday when when we had bad connectivity to listen to that facet lecture. Oh, did you help? Yes, yes, yes. All right. No, that's great. All right. Let's move on to. The uh, second segment is also the depreciation part. All right, uh, we've got the following information that relates to Chukuru trading. The year end is the same year, 31st December 2021. I think you can all see it, right? 
And we've got the cost of an asset that were as follows at the beginning of the year. We've got vehicles with an amount of 100,000 rand. We've got equipments with an amount of 80, accumulated depreciation. The vehicle is 12,000 rand and your equipment is 8,000 rand. Let's look at the summary of information or the additional information. The following transaction takes place during the year. On the 1st of September 2021, one of the delivery vehicles was sold out to an external client with an amount of 10,000 rand cash. And the process for from this sale transaction was used to help finance another vehicle from FGH Motors with an amount of 40,000 rand cash. Cost of the sold vehicle was 20,000 rand with an accumulated depreciation of 20% based on the 10% uh, on the total amount of all vehicle. On the 1st of January 2021, um, I don't know what was I doing there, sorry about it. On the 1st of November 2021, the company sold one of its equipment to Shireen for 150,000 rand. The cost price of the machine was 35,000 rand and its accumulated depreciation amounted to 4,000 rand. Provision in terms of your depreciation is 25% per annum on the diminution balance method for the vehicle and 20% in the diminution balance for the equipment. By year end, as I've mentioned, the above was on the 31st of December 2021. Let's look at how this person is looking for. Calculate the depreciation amount for both the assets and the realization to determine if the asset was sold for profit or loss. So the same questions is actually given. Sorry, the same required part is actually needed. With um, a different approach with regards to the questions. Right, so let's unmute yourself and then we, we work on this one, on this thing together. So first thing first, you know, you calculate what? Calculate the depreciation. Uh, depreciation. One being the vehicle. Okay. So what do you do then? So um, I want to calculate, the, try to calculate the depreciation for the vehicle. All right. So it's the cost of the vehicle, the hundred thousand minus the minus the twelve thousand. So I'm doing five percent. Minus 12,000. 12,000 is there. Depre okay, this is how you do. This is what she did. Cost minus accumulated depreciation. So she's saying that is 12,000. You said it's 100,000 rand. Sorry, right? Yes. And then minus 12. 12,000. Yes. Okay. Okay. Multiplied by 25%. Multiplied by 25%. Yes. Okay, multiply by 25 divided by 100. Is there any adjustment that you have to make? Uh, I'll have to scroll up to check. Okay. All right, 12,000, sorry, 100,000 100, rand minus 12,000 rand. It's about how much? Is it 88 or 70? It's 88, it gives me 000. 90. My, on my calculator, it says it's 97,000. Is it 97? Yes. So the 97 you got it from? 100,000 minus 12,000? No, I just okay. typed in the whole thing. So let me try again, just to check. I doubt if it would give you the 95. I think maybe you had an error on the calculator. Okay. Okay, let's do, let's redo it again. Eh? Okay. Divided by... In which it should be so the, the hundred thousand minus twelve thousand it's eighty eight thousand okay so multiplied by twenty five over a hundred is equal to twenty two thousand okay so it's hundred thousand minus twelve thousand I hope you guys are following here multiply by twenty five divided by hundred so you've got twenty two thousand right I agree with you there please go further. I'll still have to, to check the, the, the rest because I haven't read the, um, the question. Yeah. Okay. So we had, okay, on the 1st of September in the current year, there was a, one of the delivery vehicles was actually sold to the external client, external client with an amount of 10,000 rent. 
uh, were they used to actually purchase another vehicle? Okay, uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to say depreciation for the sold vehicle, right? Uh, you're going to say depreciation for the sold vehicle. Uh, so you're going to say how much is the depreciation for, how much is the cost of the sold vehicle? Uh, sorry, I'm just going to go up and down. But if you, can look, if you look at bulletin two, it says cost of the sold vehicle was 220,000 rand with an accumulated depreciation of 20% based on 10% of the total amount of all vehicles. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to say your accumulated depreciation. Remember, we are using the reducing balance method. You're going to say, they say that we need to use 100,000 rent multiplied by 10%, okay? To get to our accumulated depreciation. So you're going to say, I think it's 10,000 rent. That's 10,000 rand. That's my accumulated depreciation. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. You'd say depreciation, 20,000 minus 10,000 rand. Remember, you got the, uh, you adjusted your accumulated depreciation. And you're going to multiply that by 20%. Okay. Multiply by 20%. So basically, you'd say, You'd say 10,000 uh, you'd say just a moment I'm still trying to get up to the right figure all right you'd say 10,000 multiplied by 20 uh, percent which is about 2,000 rand and then you're going to look at the adjustments in terms of the months so the month says that the cost of the sold vehicle was okay. It's actually at twenty percent, based on the ten percent of the total amount of all vehicles. So when was it sold? It was sold on the first of September, twenty twenty one. So it means that we going to say September, October, November, December. And then you multiply this by four, and then you divide it by twelve. So the entire depreciation for this adjustment is double six. Uh, it's triple six point six six. Basically, you can just say double six seven. That's your depreciation for the sold vehicle. Let's say multiply by four divided by sorry four divided by twelve, and then your answer will be one two six 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 seven six six seven. Basically, any questions here? Okay, Mohamadi, you seem to have a question. Please go ahead. Hi, Oh, no, I'm sorry, sir. I forgot to drop my hand. Oh, no, it's fine. Any any questions? Uh, any questions? Charles, Nicole? Okay, no, that's fine. Then it means that our total depreciation for the vehicle sold including the original cost of the vehicle is 22,000 and then you plus it so you're going to have you're going to have plus 22,000 rands so you're going to have double two double six six point seven so you're going to have your total depreciation will be Two six six seven. That's the total depreciation for the vehicle. Right. Can you go back and read the question again? And just to check if we are missing something. So it means that we still need to calculate the depreciation. We need to adjust the depreciation for the original cost. And then you minus the cost of the sold one. And then you take the depreciation accumulated depreciation. Okay, basically, this is what you're going to do. You're going to say 100,000 rands minus 20,000. Then you get the new cost, which is the amount of 
80,000. And you're going to have an adjusted accumulated depreciation, which is, so the accumulated depreciation would be, uh, okay, let me just quickly go back to the question. So the initial accumulated depreciation is 12,000 rand for the vehicle. And then the other one that we have was, uh, it came from, so the one that you have, we said it's based on 20%, okay? It's actually based on 10% of the total amount of vehicle. So we said 100,000, and then we multiply that by 10, which is 10. So basically you're going to say 12,000 minus 10,000 rands. That's the adjusted accumulated depreciation. So you're going to say 12,000 minus 10,000 rands. Okay, and then you multiply this by 20%. Um, sorry, my apologies. You just say the adjusted accumulated depreciation is basically 2000 rand. And then you're going to say 80,000. You say 80,000. Then you minus your 22,000 rand. Then you multiply this by uh, the depreciation cost minus this multiplied by 25, multiplied by 25 cent, and then you multiply it by. For how long did we have it before we can make a sale? So we had it from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, because it was sold. Let's look at which month was it? But anyway, the difference, I think it will be eight. So you'd say multiply by eight, Say so multiply by eight, you divide it by 12. Okay, basically you'd say 78,000. So I'm still getting to my calculator. 78,000, uh, that's 80,000 minus 20, and then you multiply this by 25, you divide it by 100. Then you multiply it by eight, you divide it by 12. Then amount will be 13,000 rents, sorry. Uh, one, three, triple zero. Okay. Okay, uh, it looks like we are done with the depreciation for the vehicle. Let me just hear if there are any questions before I move on. Any questions? Everybody's fine. Okay. Um, because I can see time is actually not on our side. I'm just going to do the depreciation for the equipment and then we get off. And then when you get home, just do the realization as I've shown uh, with the similar questions in 20, sorry, question 17. Right. So let's see how much is the equipment. Equipment says the cost is 8,000 rand, 80 basically. And the accumulated depreciation is 8,000 rand. Is there anybody, is there anyone who wants to help me with this one? So basically you'd say my cost because it's also on the diminishing balance. And then you just say my cost, which is 80 minus 8,000 rands. Okay, equipment. My cost minus depreciation. Accumulated, accumulated, accumulation, accumulation, which is 80,000 minus, is it 8,000 rands? Okay, let's see. It's 80,000. I think the accumulated is uh, 8,000. 
Okay, yeah, it is 8,080 minus 8 multiplied by 20 divided by 100. So you just say multiply by 20 divided by 100, which is your 20%. Okay, did you, you try and get the figure for me? How much is the final figure for the depreciation? This one, you'd say 80,000 minus 8,000. And then you multiply this by 20%. So you put 14,400 rands. Are we on the same page? 14,400 rand. And then we go back and look at the question again. Um, let's go back and look at the question. All right, it says here that on the 1st of November 2021, the company sold one of its equipment to Shireen with an amount of 150,000 rand. I think I made a mistake. It's supposed to be 15,000 rand. The cost price of the machine was 335,000 rand, and its accumulated depreciation is 4,000 rand. 35 minus 4,000 rand for the sold. So you say 35,000 rand. You see? 5,000 minus 4,000 uh, multiply by 20%. Then you multiply that by, uh, was it sold when? Just a moment, let me just go back quickly. On the 1st of November, meaning that it was sold two months. Um, actually, I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be, I think, 10 divided by 12, because we had it for 10 months. So it's 10, we divided by 12 months. And we would say 20, 35,000 minus 4,000 rands. And then you multiply that by 20%. Then you multiply that by 10. To divide it by 12. It's 5167. Did you all get that? 5167. Alright, so I think, sorry guys, I think I made a mistake here on the, the top part as well. It's supposed to say, let me see the depreciation. Okay, this one is fine. It's 22,000, right? That's fine. The depreciation for the sword vehicle. Um, this this part is actually not correct. So the four months divided by twelve, it is actually going to be for the cost of what we have purchased on the asset. Okay, because we only had it for four months divided by twelve, and that's why I've adjusted this one here. My apologies for that. The, sorry for that error. So let me have a look at the question again. Uh, so the cost to the machine was, uh, the company sold this machine to Shireen and that, okay, it's going to determine the, the profit. So the cost of the sold vehicle is that one as well. So the external client for this cash and proceeds was used to sell for this the other finance. So meaning that you're going to have 40,000 rands. Under your vehicle, you're going to have 40,000 rand, and then you're going to multiply that by 25%. You're going to multiply that by 25%, and then you're going to multiply that by September, October, November, December, multiply by 40 divided by 100. So basically you'd say 4,000, So you'd say 4,000 times 5 divided by 100 multiply by 4 divided by 12. Okay, it's for the new cost. But we don't have any cost in regards to the equipment. Let's have a look at that one. One of the equipment was sold to Sherry for 15,000 Rand. Cost price of the machine was 35,000 Rand, and the accumulated depreciation was 4,000 Rand. 
So we cannot calculate the depreciation for the new cost because there's no new cost for the equipment. Okay, so let's get to our final figure here on the 4,000 rents. Is it 4,000 rent? Yes, so you just say, we'll just uh, say, just a moment guys, I'm still opening my calculator. Right, it's four grand multiply by uh, 25 divided by 100. And then you multiply this by four, you divide it by 12. So you've got three, three, three. Okay, for the year, uh, we actually will be three, three point three, three. Right, so the same process will be followed again in terms of uh, combining all the amount for the depreciation to form part of your accumulated depreciation. And then the realization will be the same. You're going to have, if the cost is the cost on the debit side, and then you're going to have check if you've got your creditor or the trade and other PA was you have to pay to go to the credit side because it's a liability, uh, which increases on the credit side. And you are going to have what's called the accumulated depreciation that you've calculated prior. Then it's going to be on the credit side, and then you're going to determine as to whether your credit on the realization account is greater than your debit. And then, if that's the case, then that means you're going to have the profit on the disposal of an asset, which goes to your income under your PL account. And then, if it's the opposite, then it means that you're going to have a loss, and that goes through to your PL account as part of your expenses. Unfortunately, we didn't finish up our work for today but we did, we did the best.